Um, how old were you when you started in this business? I was about seven years old when our family started harvesting wild herbs out of the desert. As a family, we'd go out in the mountains, pick pine gum off the pine trees, or pick uh, Mormon tea, chaparral, cedar berries, juniper berries, American Indian ginseng, and we would bring those back and either heat the pine gum and filter all the garbage out of it and put it in little buckets, or we would grind up and dry the yucca, the ginsengs, powder it and sell it to what are now large nutritional companies, particularly here in the Utah area. And we did that for years and then started into developing our proprietary drying process. So I've, I've been literally raised in this industry from about seven years old. So I got to run wild in the hills. <laughs> so. so, I mean, what birthed the idea of the InstaFresh process? I mean, it had to start with something conceptually. Uh, the, the concept uh, that got us into developing the drying process was the concept uh, to preserve the nutritional values of whole foods, knowing that was a primary source of nutrition our bodies needed. The other aspect was actually to deliver something without the moisture so that there would be a lower shipping cost. Uh, because some of the first things we did were based on trying to get it shipped overseas and rather than shipping liquid, the idea was to ship the powder that had the natural nutritional values preserved. Uh, certainly became more cost effective, but more importantly, it preserved nutritional integrity that was being lost in other drying processes that are essential to get from Whole Foods. Well, I mean, I heard that the whole process of, let's say, uh, what I see, I see this term on labels, juice concentrating, and I understand that companies started concentrating juices so that they'd be cheaper to ship, where they pull off the water, uh, maybe rehydrate it at the hub that's doing distribution. I don't know if that's, I mean, well, how, how does your process differ from that? Well, first of all, understand the juice concentrates. There's, there's a number of reasons they do it. Uh, one certainly is if they're going to ship them, it reduces the amount of volume they're shipping. A typical juice is concentrated roughly five times. So instead of shipping five drums of, of, of a juice, they ship one drum. But the other is also think of the storage. When they're running some of these juices, as an example, orange juice. Oranges are not on all year. So they also have a storage issue that they have to deal with to have enough supply to last throughout the year until the next crop of oranges come on. So they want to reduce the amount of storage and warehouse space required to store this. So it's not just shipping. They reduce the storage space by five times. So they're trying to maintain efficiencies there on both sides, which all adds to cost. As whereas our approach is, we're not so much looking at a cost factor. It just becomes convenient that we save the cost in shipping a powder versus its use to our customers. But we're looking at it as to what the actual deliverable is. If someone's going to take a whole food nutritional product that has whole food concentrates, they need to be getting into their systems the nutritional integrity that's essential to get from live, fresh, whole foods. That's the purpose of developing our proprietary drying process, is to preserve maximum nutritional integrity. So someone that's going to take a, a, an orange juice powder to get the benefit of eating the fresh orange, that they're getting the full synergistic components that are necessary to get from fresh oranges. Because we know that once has been pasteurized or, or, or using a heat concentration process, that there's a number of nutritional components that are lacking, that have been uh, not just denatured with what minerals and stuff are still remaining in the concentrate, but the live enzymes, the live microorganisms and probiotics that would be naturally occurring in some of the whole foods. The, some of your basic vitamins have been oxidized off in the process. And then going back <coughs> to the denaturing process that happens with what is still left there is not nearly as beneficial and functional or bioavailable within the body because it's lacking the enzymes, it's lacking the microorganisms, it's lacking a number of those vitamins to make even what's left effective in the system. We've talked before, as an example, with orange juice. What happens to the sugar molecules? when they go through the pasteurization and the heat concentration processes. 
the sugars are not as live as they used to be, and they're also not compounded with the other products to make the, 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 the sugars and the glyconutrients work effectively within the body. That's where our process allows us to preserve the, the synergistic nutritional integrity of whole foods to deliver the optimal beneficial nutrient form to the body because everything is there for the body to properly utilize whether it's minerals it needs, whether it's vitamins it needs, whether it's microorganisms and probiotics, whether it's the one or hundreds of thousands of phytonutrient compounds, everything is there so the body can draw on fully what it needs and have maximum utilization of it.